Hi, second grade. Today we're going to be working on telling time to the nearest five minutes. Let's get started by taking a look at this pattern. What are you noticing? I notice that it starts with five and goes five, 10, 15, something, 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 35, something, something, 50, something, 60. I'm looking at these first three numbers and I'm noticing that it's going up by five each time. So I think that we're skip counting by fives. If we were, what would that sound like? It would sound like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now I want you to think about how this pattern that you are so good at is just the same as this pattern that goes around our clock. It starts with zero and goes to five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or starting back again at zero. Remember yesterday we talked about how that 60 means that there have been 60 full minutes in one hour or that we're starting fresh with no minutes of the new hour. Keep these times in mind as we look at our clocks. Let's look at this clock. Well, first we have to look for the hour hand and we remember the hour hand is the short hand. Then I'm noticing that this hour hand is pointing straight to the 10 and I think it would be in the 10 o'clock hour. I'm gonna hold that in my brain for a second. We have to check the minute hand first before we're sure it's 10 o'clock. Now, if I'm looking at the long minute hand, it's pointing straight to the one. And I remember when we're counting for the minutes, we know that the large numbers, we count by five. So we would say this is five. So now, if it were 10.05, does that seem to make sense? I think so, because the hour hand is straight to that 10 and the minute hands let me know that it's just the beginning of the 10 o'clock hour. This is how we would write 10.05. Noticing that we have our hour first and our minute second. And we say it just like that. We read our hours first and our minutes second. Let's take a look at this clock. What do you notice? I see the hour hand is pointing a little past to the eight. So I know it's in that eight o'clock hour. And the minute hand is pointing to the four. Remembering to skip count by fives, I'd say five, 10, 15, 20. I think this clock is showing me 8, 20. When we write 8, 20, we'd write it like this, with our hour first and then our minutes. Let's do one more practice. Let's look at our hour hand first. Ooh, it looks like it's pointing to that six, but not quite. So it could be six o'clock or maybe five o'clock. Let's see. Our minute hand is pointing to the 11. And I remember that one is really close to the start of a new hour. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So if I were to say that this was 655, that means it's almost seven o'clock. And this hour hand is not close to the seven at all. So it can't be 6.55. But if I were to look at 5.55, that would mean it's almost close to six o'clock. And it is really close to that six o'clock hour. So we have to be careful with our hour hand and make sure that even if it's so close to that six, it hasn't crossed it yet. This time is 5.55 with our hour first and our minutes next. Now here's your job. I want you to look at these three clocks and then these three digital clocks. I want you to match the clock on top with one of the clocks at the bottom. I'll give you a little hint. Look for that hour hand first and then look at the minutes. Do you have some matches? I'm noticing this hour hand is in between the seven and the eight about halfway past the seven. So I think it would be in the seven o'clock hour. The minute hand is pointing down to the seven. I know the six is 30, so I'll just count on one more five to 35. So I think it would be 735. This clock matches with this clock. Let's look at our next clock. The hour hand is super close to that nine, but not quite there yet. 
And I remember that the nine, when we're counting minutes, 